Uh, what can I say guys? Welcome to this video. And yeah, what can I say? League of Legends sometimes it super sucks. I mean, most of the time to be honest. So, um, I want to present you a game that sucked so hard, okay? I mean, this game was so bad and I had a very bad team and these kind of games, you know, these kind of games sometimes they tilt you so hard that you don't want to play League of Legends for like, I don't know, for like a year. You want to, it makes you, you want to quit League, you know what I'm saying? And I want to present you such a game, guys. You can see already uh, from the stats that my team sucked so hard. Like, for example, this Yasuo, you can see 3-8. You can see my supporter 5-9. You can see my ADC, uh, Azrael, 3-8 and Akali on the top of that um, for 12 and also you can see the farm from these guys like I'm the jungler right and I I'm sitting on 185 CS and compare my CS stats to all my other teammates and you will see that they very they, they suck super hard man like I mean compare it to uh, the Azrael the ADC sitting on 133 CS like what and this by the way diamond 3 it was diamond 3 i just dropped because of that game and i keep on dropping just because of these teams i get i dropped from diamond 2 until all the way down to diamond 4 man just because of these people okay and if you see if you have a closer look on the enemy team you will see um they had some some very good stats but if you compare the cs you'll see they were some they were some bad plays man I mean, it wasn't even hard to play against these people. I mean, these people were super bad. Like, compare the enemy uh, uh, ADC. 156 CS, dude, Diamond 3. This is super bad. I mean, I'm, I'm, playing, a, I'm playing a minion. Okay, Wukong is just a minion, man. 0% scaling on his Q on first level. I'm playing a minion. And I'm sitting on most of the CS here, like more than the enemy ADC who was winning the the bot lane. He was winning. Uh, Devour, Barris, and, and Fresh were winning the the bot lane. 156 CS is really, I mean, this is really poor. So compare like the Malphite on the top lane CS 141. What? This is so bad. I mean, even the enemy team was so bad. Like, how can my team lose against such a bad team i don't understand i was like what the fuck why am i losing this game how can i lose this game against this bad enemy team how is that even possible guys how can you be that bad i mean i'm after all i'm, I'm playing a minion guys not even playing the super minion i'm playing just a minion guys <laughs> And I do better than you. How is that even possible? Well, to answer this 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 question, we're just gonna hop into that game. And we're just gonna analyze it. Let's go. So everything started with this here when Yazu went on the Galio to fight him, and then he backed. He just made it out of this situation, which was really good. And then the teleport came in from Akali. There was no reason to fight that, but Akali wanted to fight that. So she went in. She got she got CC'd by Galio. And then she just got smacked down. Like there was no, absolute no reason, absolutely no fucking reason to fight this. However, we got a kill, they got a kill, so it was a one for one. So everything was okay. And then I picked, okay, I'm on my way, I'm just gonna help you. And he got just CC'd by that gay deal. And he got killed. So this is how the game starts. We even got the first blood on Akali. She got the first blood on the top lane against the mayor fight. And I don't know how she, she just, I don't know how she just messed it up. I don't understand. She got the uh, first blood on the top lane, right? And then she made this one. She she committed too hard. And we were like, okay, we can do something over here. We went on this Galio. And we got the kill here. Unnecessary f to take the kill right there. I don't know why Pike uh, just took it. There was no reason for it. Anyways, we got the kill. This is what matters, guys. And we were fine. So 3-2 so far. Everything is basically okay. But then Akali somehow just managed to die against this Gaelio. I don't understand how. Because Akali was 
had the first spot on, on Malphite, right? I don't know why she went back. Like, she just went back uh, for no fucking reason. So, why we just killed the Galio over here and Pike was mid lane, Azrael was farming on the bot lane. And look what happens. I, I, don't, understand these, I don't understand these players. Like, you're supposed to play... You are supposed to play safe, and this means you, you are supposed to stand over here, like behind the minions. Why would you step into that into into that uh, bush, and like make yourself an easy target for fresh hooks? Like, why would you do that? I don't understand. Let's go back. Let's, let me just point that out, okay? So this is how you're supposed to to stand. Even you are supposed to stand even here, okay? Not not here. I mean, your supporter is not there. You can farm. You can f simply farm from here. Like, why would you stay over here so offensive? There is no point. So we made the kill over there, right? And then um, look at this Ezreal. Look at, at his positioning. Why would you go into that brush? I don't understand. Like, he, okay, he, he was maybe looking for his um, Kleptomancy uh, procs. But not like that, dude. Like, you're supposed to stay over here. Your supporter just left you. I mean, I mean, don't give a shit about the, the Kleptomancy proc. Your supporter's not there. He can't help you then. Like, this guy is making himself such an easy target to uh, fresh hooks. Like, this is so easy to grab here. And he just uh, stepped into the brush, and look at what happens here. So, of course, um, fresh just committed. He just uh, threw his lantern for Varus. So, he got him in. Um, Ezreal just eat. He, he just got hooked. Right? And then he flashes. I don't know why he's not flashing this way in safety, but okay. <laughs> okay. So, and he got killed for no reason. And top lane got killed as well. So, seven minutes in, guys, and I was like, okay, I need to do something on the bot lane because these people are just losing it, okay? Seven minutes in, um, this guy is 0 and 1, and it was like, it's... Okay, this is an Ezreal. <laughs> Ezreal, they do no damage my team for some reason. Anyways, I wanted to gank the bot lane because these people were playing very aggressive. So now notice this. So these people, when I when I stepped into when I stepped into the brush, these people just immediately back off. They just backed off. So this told me actually, okay, they watered this one over here. So I was like, okay, this is my this might be watered, so I'm just gonna backport. I was like backporting for a second and then I thought, okay, maybe if they got vision here, they can just hook me. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna make my way into my own jungle and, and backport something, uh, somewhere in safety. So they can't really hook me. And they were like, they were about to hook me, okay? So I just took the blast cone and I was like, okay, hey, maybe we can do a lane gank here. And we just need to be a little bit patient. As you can see me, I'm waiting here and waiting for the perfect situation, for the perfect moment. And then this happened. This happened. When I saw, okay, Fresh committing for this fight, Azrael just got grabbed again. Guess what? Guess why? Because this guy is just a bad player. He's just a bad player. Why the hell are you positioning yourself just like that? Like, this guy is in front of everything. Your, your supporter is over there. Why the hell are you playing like you are a tank? You're supposed to stay over here, dude. You don't, you don't got any vision over this brush here. Like, of course, Fresh is sitting over there and he's going to grab you. Like, it's so obvious. It's so obvious. But this guy is just a bad player. Who were just um, complaining about me, by the way. So he got uh, hooked. I saw that and I was making my way to uh, this fight here. Luckily, he got out of that. And I went in, had my uh, ult ready, ulted this one here. We actually made a kill. Nice. So you got hooked again. Look at this guy. He's so bad. Okay, but luckily um, Yasuo just made his way to the bot lane. And yeah, we could pick up the kill without uh, Ezreal dying there. So we had a successful gank ride on the bot lane. And this guy, we're still farming. We're still pushing in with low life and then he just used E just to jump away and look what happens here so you get you get hooked again and he get killed for no reason man for no fucking reason there's no reason for you to die there 
we just had a successful gank over there we killed two of them and you're just giving them back hope and kills and money why would you do that he was staying over there low life using his e jumping away his only escape ability which he needed over here when fresh just hooked him like i don't understand some people man so a few minutes later i saw this guy fighting over there um st still losing against ap malphite and i just made my way over there a little bit too late though but i actually managed to kill this guy i decoyed over there because of his q so he can't slow me this is why i decoyed over there i was counting in my head one two three like estimating his um, cooldowns on his q and then i pressed w so he can't q me and slow me actually and we actually uh, managed to get the kill so i'm just going to show you the scoreboard so my top line is now 2-4 i'm sitting on two kills 202 um out farming this guy k6 he got a kill now on the mid lane because of yazoo so we had um yazoo sitting on 2-1 now he's 2-2 82 kill uh far cs and my ezreal 02 guys this is so far the scoreboard for this game so 11 minute mark guys we are about to collapse on that bot lane so yazoo is making his way to the bot lane i'm farming this up and i was about to okay i'm gonna gank the bot lane here and you can see these two people are backing off playing it safe this is how you're supposed to do it until we arrive on the bot lane so look what happens guys so yazoo is pinging he's coming in this is uh not watered over here as you can see yeah this is not watered over here and Pike just engages. Like, look where Yazoo is. Azrael is over here. And Pike just engages. Okay? Like, there's no one next to him. I mean, okay, it's Azrael. But look where Yazoo is. Look where am I. And he just engages. Stunning no one of them. Okay? Stunning absolutely no one of these people. Because he just used his abilities in a wrong way. And this is Diamond 3. So what happens is, even though what happens is even though we are four v two, these two enemies just managed to kill two of us. Okay, look at that. Like Pike is already dead, you can say. And there is the Pike kill because he just engaged too early and at the wrong, uh, just at the wrong timing and the wrong way. And then look at that, Ezreal. I, I, don't, I don't absolutely understand. Like, why are you playing so aggressively? I don't understand that. You're a fucking ADC, dude. So let me let me just show you that again, okay? So we got Pike over there engaging like that. Not knowing his uh, jump... Uh, jump... Uh, what's it called? Range. Stunning no one. Like, this is his most important i think mono, one of his most important abilities the stun thing so you can stun people and then look at this Ezreal dude please can i wait let, let me just i want to see if he just eat in did he e in did he this guy just used his e to get into that i want to see that yeah he did look at that fucking troll dude why would you do that? I mean, Pike was already dead. Look at that. Let me, let me just show you that again, guys. This is Diamond 3, man. He is in. Oh, my God. I didn't see that. I didn't see that in the, ga in the game. Just enjoy this run, man. He is in, dude. He just is in. When Pike just died. Why? Yeah, so we managed to get two of them, but they still killed two of us. So we got here Ezreal again, um, trying to push out his lane without having any vision at the river. You can see this is pink water by the enemies. This is water by the enemies. And you see Pike is fighting in our own jungle against the Fresh, who's two levels, by the way, who's two, two levels ahead of him. So this guy is just two levels ahead of my supporter. And this guy, look at that. He's just, hey, don't mind me. I'm just going to push out this lane, man. I mean, dude, you are in danger. You are in danger. You got no vision. 
Why would you play so aggressive? Okay, so let's hit the play button. Let's see what happens, guys. So this guy is still, and this guy was absolutely not reacting. I mean, Pike and, and Fresh were fighting in our own jungle, and this guy was not absolutely not reacting. Instead of joining his supporter and try to kill this guy, he was like, don't mind me, I'm just going to push out this lane. I'm gonna, just going to um, try to destroy this turret here. I can't really destroy it, but hey, I'm just going to give it a try. Don't mind me, guys. So he then backs when he saw the Gaglio, okay? Then he backs. Then he actually backs. But look what happens here. So Gaglio is coming this way, and Fresh is coming this way. You're never going to you're never gonna make it out of that. There is no way you can make it out of that one. So look what happens here. Look, look what happens here. And boom, you're dead. Guess what? You're dead. You're playing, you, bro, you're playing without a vision. You're playing so aggressive when you are not supposed to play aggressive. So this guy is 1 and 5. And he was flaming me. I'm hard stucking. Hard stuck diamond, he said. Dude, guess why I'm hard stuck fucking diamond? Because of players like you. That easy. Like, are you serious? Look look at this guy. Look at this guy where he's farming. He's farming in between the enemy turrets here. And look where the team is. Exactly. They are just going for that Akali. And this is Diamond 3, by the way. Diamond 3, guys. So, this Akali just uh, decided, hey, let's go for um, farming between in between turrets. Even though she's not fed or something. She's 362 sitting on poorly 105 cs i got even more as the jungler here i got more as the jungler guys and of course what happens is um enemies just chased her and killed her so she blew her flash right there for basically minions okay for basically minions guys this is what happened over there so then I just engage on that and we actually we uh, got the kill on K6. Uh, I mean Ezreal got the kill on K6 which was fine. So then Akali just decided to um, farm again in between two turrets, in between two enemy turrets. This time not the bot lane though, this time they w she went just for the top lane, okay? She did basically the same over here on the top lane again, okay? And she didn't learn out of her mistake. That she, that she did over here. She just uh, repeated that mistake again on the top lane, farming in between two turrets, fighting against this um, AP Malphite as Akali. And she loses that so hard. So the people, the enemy, the enemies were just uh, doing the Drake. And I was like, okay, while they are doing the Drake, I'm just going to go for the Herald here. And instead of going for the Herald, this Akali just decided to farm in between two turrets. We could have done the Herald here and had with, with the Herald we would actually push and get another turret here. So what happens is this, guys. Akali just decided to fight this guy. And of course she loses it. Boom. She ults away and then she just goes back into that. I don't understand that. So she died, the enemies just uh, went for the Herald then after the Drake and I was just uh, trying to make my way out of that. And the Cossacks were actually chasing me and I just j went on him to kill him. So the Varus just flashed and I could have flashed this, I could have flashed the ult but I didn't think that the hitbox is actually that huge. So let me go just back and show you what I mean here. So let me hit the play button. So I was doing that Half-Life, man. We could have done it so easy with Akali. So you see uh, Kha'Zix chasing me. And I was like, okay, if you want to die, let's go, man. I'm done for that. So this guy just flashed. Okay. And I was like, okay. And I was like, okay, this, this ult is just going this way, right? Look. But the hitbox is actually next level. Let me just slow it down. So it didn't, it, it still hit at me right there, right? I thought, okay, uh, this ult was just a miss ult. I don't have to flash it, but actually the hitbox just got me over there. And I ended up to die over there. We got this massive action then going on here. 
Let's see. Uh, I think Ezreal just died here. Let's see what he does. So there is no, there's absolutely no reason to force a fight here, right? Because two of us just died. There is no reason to force a fight. However, this Ezreal, who's playing like, I don't know, who's playing like a tank, right? And using his E all the time in the wrong way, just decided to step up, just uh, give him the fresh and easy hook. Look at that. This is a straight line, dude. This is this is so easy to hook. Look at that. What is wrong with this guy? Like, I, I swear to God, what what is wrong with this? Look at that. There's the hook. There he died. No reason. No reason. There is no reason for you to stay here whatsoever. You just have to clear this minions and then the pike on the top of that he also died and this is diamond three by the way so what then happens guys few seconds just few seconds later not enough that um pike and ezreal died there for no reason look what this akali does she just walks look at look at that like what the f this is diamond three what this is not even bronze dude to be honest this is not even iron okay one two three four four enemies at the turret and you just walk like that you just walk into them just like that not even iron players do this not even iron players guys look at that guy akali is just straight she is just straight forward moving into these people like why are you staying you this turret is gone this turret is gone. You have no chance to do something over there. But instead, just back off because they got so much CC with Fresh, with um, Galeo. Instead, she just get hooked, CC'd, and she just died. So a few minutes later, this happens, guys. So the pike just hooked someone and then the Yazoo just followed with the ult. They ended up to die. All of them. Okay, both of them. And I was like, I just found this car 6. He was just over here. Let me just show you that. I just found this car 6 while these people were fighting. Okay, so these people were uh, the Pike and the Yazoo. I was paying for that. And then I was like, okay, there is the car 6. We can actually kill him. And then I was like, okay, I'm just going to flash for that. These people just died over there and we actually um, just managed to kill the Varus, which was not that bad. And we could have, we could have, to be honest, we could have um, killed these people over here with Akali, but Akali was just chilling. Let me go just go back and show you that the Malphite, even though he's so bad, he just uh, <laughs> takes the win here and gets the LP. So I was waiting here until he gets baited by... The Azrael and then and then I went in. Look, look how aggressive. Look, look, look at this guy. Look at this guy, man. This is so stupid. I don't understand this Azrael. Look how he is in. Look at look at that. Dude, you will get CC'd for years, man. You will get CC'd for years, man. This guy just is in. However, we made it. We got another kill on the fresh and also we took this turret here. Let me just show you um, the scoreboard here. And then I just pressed ghost to clear the enemy uh, jungle camps. Meanwhile, Azrael getting caught again. Because he was overstaying. Let me just show you that scoreboard real quick guys so you can. So the scoreboard as you can see we uh, got the Akali with the 3-9. We got me 5-2, we got Yazoo 3-5, we got this guy 3-6-4-6. So then we had this situation um, going on. So I saw my team on the midland besides Akali and I saw these people and I was like, okay, they're going to push it in and try to take this turret and I can see and I can make um, an engage here maybe. Okay, I was thinking like this. 
So I was waiting for these people to just push it in and I was like, okay, if I can engage on the Malphite, who is an LP, AP Malphite sitting on eight kills, eight, five, two, we can actually, I think, win the, um, win the team fight because this guy does a lot of damage with his ult. So I was waiting for that enemy team to push it in. So see what happens. Just watch what and, and see what happens here. And you guys tell me actually if this is my fault, because maybe it's my fault. If you guys think this is my fault because I engage on the wrong person, you can just go ahead and tell me that in the comment section, please. Because I need to learn, okay? I need to improve, I need to get better. If this, is, if this was my fault, uh, because I went on the wrong target here, just tell me that in the comment section. But let's, let's, let, let me just explain my thoughts, okay? So look at that engage. And while I'm engaged, I'm just gonna explain you my thoughts. So you got Malphite overstaying so hard. Look at this guy, he's almost below our turret, man. He's next to our turret. And I was like, oh man, this guy is like, hey, this guy is like next level. So I went, I was waiting here for the perfect moment when I saw this opportunity here, okay? This situation here, I was like, oh man, this will be a four-man ult, okay? Followed by the Yasuo. No way we're gonna lose that. It doesn't really matter if I engage on the Varus or Malphite, we will kill the entire team here. This was my, my thoughts, okay? behind that action what I'm gonna do now so this is why I engaged at this timing on Malphite because I thought okay if I get the Malphite down we will actually win the fight because he can't use his ult and he will not do that much damage I thought we can burst him down and actually win the team fight so you guys go ahead and tell me in the comment section if these thought if if my thoughts right there were uh, wrong and if I engage on the wrong person here so, as you can see, this guy is 8-5, this guy is 7-4, 5-2 Galio, and 6-4 Varus, 2-3 on this guy. So, Akali is over there, she's just joining us, and I was like, okay, no way we can lose that with Yasuo and the Ezreal ult, right? And also, on top of that, with the Pike ult. This was what I was thinking right there. So, what happens, though, is this. Let me just slow it down like that. So, you see that, right? I mean... 100% you would engage to, at as as the same uh, at the same moment like like I did here. So then I went for this engage here. And I see right now and I see right now that Yasuo actually engaged at the wrong timing. So we killed the Malphite right there. And we also knocked up the K6 right there. So Akali is also there. Meanwhile, Ezreal just running around. Do you see Ezreal, man? So let's go back again. Let's go back again. And watch that again, okay? So I'm coming in half straight deep. Boom, like that. So Ezreal's chilling. Ezreal's chilling. Somehow we, I don't understand how we lost that. I mean, I mean, Akali and Yasuo, they should have just melted them. They should have just killed them, right? But then I see this guy's 3 and 10 and building tank shit. And I'm like, right now, I'm like, oh man. So I don't know, guys. Go ahead and tell me in the comment section if this was a wrong engage. Maybe I should have went on the Varus. Anyways, let's go to the next section. So then we had this situation going on at the 26 minute mark where I wanted to have the red buff, the enemy red buff. We just um, caught this Malphite in his own jungle. There is Pike, there is Yazu and Ezreal, there is me. So there is no way to escape out of this situation. However, there is a blast cone, but we still managed to kill him. So this is what happens, guys. We just uh, killed this guy. Let me pause it really quick. So this is right now a 4v5 situation. All we gotta do is like stick together, but then this happens, guys. So Yasuo and Ezreal just decided to go back here and he get, he gets caught. 
So what happens then is I see an opportunity to engage on this Varus actually and I just made my way this way here and just engaged on this Varus. I then um, killed him and I had the knock up on two people, knocked up the Fresh and the Gelio over there while my Ezreal is somewhere chilling over there. Trying to hit some cues and me trying to actually make my way out of that. Akali for some reason just decided to go back into that for no... I mean, there's no way we can win this with the Galio taunt, right? I just backed it. This guy just decided to go in there. And we got then the Ezreal um, spitting his Q over the wall. And we actually managed to lose a 4v5 situation. Um, I don't know why. I don't I really don't know. I mean, I mean, this this team is just... I don't know what to say. Look look at the scoreboard. Let me give you an overview of, uh, about the scoreboard, guys. So we got 311, my top laner. Me, 736. We got 37, Yasuo. 37, Ezreal. 58, uh, the supporter. So, guys, 28 minutes in, and Akali just decided to go on the bot lane again to push it out and maybe to take this turret. Um, she had the teleport up, though, and I was pushing out this when the enemy just decided to go for Baron. So this happens then. So they went for the Baron. We saw that because we had the war over there. And then Pike was there. I was there. And I was waiting for the Yasuo. And you tell me, guys, again in the comment section, if this is my fault over here, if I lost the... Uh, if I lost the um, team fight or the game over here, because I saw Yasu over there, we can just engage on these people and knock them up and double knock them up with the Yasu. And I saw the teleport from uh, Akali coming in high straight deep, so there is no way we can. I was like, there is no way we can we can lose that shit. We had to fight this, otherwise these guys would just uh, take the Baron. We got Pike uh, for some reason over here. I don't know why. I don't know why he, what he's doing over here. And Ezreal, he was making his way um, towards the Baron, right? So let me slow it down so you guys can see it right now. So me engaging and knocking up three, four people here. Okay. And then Yasu came in. Akali is at the back line over there. All thing. While Pike is chilling over there. I don't know what Pike is doing there. Okay. Like imagine his ult into these people. Imagine his ult into these people. Okay. Ezreal is still making his way. But Pike, what, what, what are you doing over there, man? Like, what? I mean, Pike ult into that. Reset. Pike ult. Reset. Look at that. So... Fresh Pike old reset. F fresh, I mean, yeah. Fresh Pike old reset. Um, this is various Pike old reset. There will be another Pike old on Kha'Zix reset, maybe. You know? Instead, this guy uses his W to get over the wall too late. While Ezreal still <laughs> is not there. And we actually die. So then Ezreal. Arrived finally. <laughs> the Baron Pit. And yeah this is what happens man. He just uh, goes melee form, he just goes tank form and tries to do some damage over there, I guess. I mean, this is so easy to, to hit, right? I mean, this is so... Look, look at that. Look at that. Look how low they are. Like, imagine the pike old over there, right? If this guy, if the pike were not staying over here and actually joining us... He would have killed them all and, and took the Baron and maybe took some turrets here, here and there, you know, even without Ezreal. Ezreal was not needed because he was useless anyways. So go ahead and tell me in the comment section if this was my fault, um, if I should have waited a little bit maybe. 
I'm not sure, man. I was I was like, okay, we got Pike there, we got Yazoo there, Akali's teleporting. I was like, we can't win this. I had the feeling we can win this. And I was so surprised when we lost that. I was like, why are we losing these fights? I don't understand. Why I was playing, right? I was asking myself, why am I losing these fights? And now that I watch that again, I see every time someone was not doing the right thing. Someone was chilling somewhere where he's not supposed to chill and doing some mistakes and cost us the game, actually. Now that I watch that replay. Maybe I do expect a little bit too much because I was like, okay, this Diamond 3, man, I can go for these engages. People know how to play. People know how to um, follow my engages, you know. And I, I maybe expect it too much, to be honest. I'm not sure, man. You guys tell me in the comment section. You guys tell me, guys. However, this is then um, the end right here. The enemies just... Uh, and that the game right here actually we just surrendered it because there was no way we can come back out of that so this is basically the video man this is the video guys that i wanted to show you man sometimes you have these games and i had a lot of these games lately and i just um so tilted that i wanted to make this video actually to show you why i'm actually um dropping this is really because of team i had so many games like that and i dropped from diamond 2 now Till Diamond 4, 75 LP. Because simply because of team. Okay. Let me show you the, the end stats. I really don't like to say that. I really don't like to say I dropped because of team. But that's the fact, dude. Look at that. 4, 12, 7, 4, me. 3, 8, 3, 8, 5, 9. I'm not sure if this was my fault. You guys tell me in the comment section, please. Because I need to improve, apparently. I can't stay this garbage like as I'm right now. So you guys tell me in the comment section and see you guys in the next video. If you if you guys like that kind of um, serious man, if, these, if you guys like these kind of videos, I'm going to drop more of these. Just let me know in the comment section as well and drop a like if you do so. So peace guys, peace.